Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson of Pyramid of Potential. Welcome to video 56 of 60 of the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. Today we're talking about neuroplasticity. So neuroplasticity is a new term that we hear bounced around and what it means is that the brain can change at any age. You see, we've got connections that we can make no matter how old we are. Uh, even though connections as we age may prune or, or we learn something, we forget it, but we still can learn. Turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. Um, of course, when someone is younger, their brain is more plastic, meaning they can learn a little bit easier than the older people. But we've got proof that even older people can learn and their brains can change. So I'm going to give you a couple examples that you may know of uh, just to show that, yes, there is such a thing as neuroplasticity. We're going to start with Bob Woodruff. He was that ABC correspondent who years ago, his Jeep hit a landmine in Iraq. And unfortunately, it um, destroyed uh, a whole piece of his head and including part of his left hemisphere of his brain. Now, we process language in the left hemisphere, and he was unable to speak for several months. But due to lots of therapy, um, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and uh, speech therapy, uh, today you can actually watch videos of him as a foreign correspondent uh, in the Middle East when he has been recently interviewing soldiers. He looks great. Plastic surgery is wonderful, but he also sounds great. Um, from what I can see, he looks like he's 100%. Another one that's more recent that you might um, remember and have heard of is Gabby Giffords, the U.S. representative from Tucson, Arizona. Um, in, nine, or in 2011, she was shot through the left hemisphere of her brain. And she also lay in the hospital unable to uh, talk and um, things, but through lots and lots of therapy. You can see her today walking, talking, um, and having a functional life. So, yes, the brain can change. And you might think, well, well, wait a second, how do I know that the brain actually changed in that period of time? Well, I want to ask you this. If someone was like her, was shot through the brain and she lay in the hospital and she got no therapy, no speech therapy, no um, occupational therapy, no physical therapy, nothing. Where would she be today? And wouldn't you agree she'd probably be still in that hospital bed, not speaking, not carrying on conversations and having a great life. So yes, what, what those therapists did was rewire her brain because we can do that. That's what the pyramid of potential is all about. It's about rewiring the brain using neuroscience and this word neuroplasticity to create new connections in the brain where they either didn't exist before or got lost so that we can then move forward with our lives and have successful, um, happy lives. And that's what it's all about. 